Hello gamers. All right, I'm back. I'm back. Guess what? Guess what happened at my house again? The power, the power flickered. Every time that happens, my mix board turns off my phantom power and I always forget to go hit that button again. Ah. <sighs> anyway, we back. We back. Uh, I wasn't going to stream today because I have a... So just to warn everyone, here's how it's going to go down. I have like two hours to stream. Then I have to go take... I have to go uh, deal with some life shit. That's going to take about two hours. Then I'm going to come back. I'll leave it on MediaTek in the meantime. I just wasn't going to kick up the stream until later. Except some sweet games came out. Like Trombone Champ. And the next game from the developers of Devil Daggers. Uh, Hyper Demon. Really excited to play both of these. Oh, Bruce is already on it. He got an S score? Nice. Oh, that's today? Yeah, of course he's on it. Everybody's on it. Fucking, it's, uh, it's the meme. But yeah, I can't wait to play Devil Daggers 2, but first. But first, the real shit. Oh, Solstice is out. Fuck. Okay, that's awesome. Um, I guess I'll have to try to get to that tomorrow. <laughs> One humorous jump scare? That's fine. Wait, has to be sliding below. Yeah, uh, yeah, I gotta go take my bike in for maintenance. So that's gonna take a while just to get across LA. And so it comes to pass. Ages after the twin vessels were forged, a new soul appears. Brave soul. One day, you will stand before two baboons. One day, you will rend the very fabric that binds this land. Treeb Flugel? Thank you very much for the... But until that day comes... The sub? You I feel like a trombone is a Treeb Flugel. Toot your trombone, brave soul. Is that... And you may yet become I'm Google it, yeah. the trombone champ. Oh yeah, Frobot the fucking Twitch deal? How about that, huh? Okay, no. A Triebflugel or a Triebflugeljäger is a thrust wing hunter. It's a German concept for an aircraft. And never mind. It is not a trombone. Flugel Seemed like it was a horn word. Flugelhorn is a big trumpet? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm mixing up my, uh... What's happening with Twitch now? They actually kind of announced a, a scaling tax, weirdly. They're going to reduce the partner rev share above a certain threshold. Um, the thing is, I've, I looked at some breakdowns in the numbers, and it's really only going to affect, like, the top, top chunk of the top 1% because no, almost nobody makes over so the cutoff is a hundred grand in partner revenue and uh, that's a lot um, for partner revenue uh, so there's some channels that get above that waterline but I think I whenever I hustle real hard and do a lot of subathons and also people spend a lot of money um, I can get a I can get above that and I have gotten above that but then it's only the portion above that that gets hit. So it's really not going to sting me that bad, but I also wasn't operating at a super high volume on Twitch. I'm pretty cool. Just keeping it like chill. <laughs> I'm not like a top top 1000 -er or anything like that. Or I think I was in the top 1000, but I was like a 700th place or something. And this is like speaking entirely selfishly, entirely selfishly. It's kind of nice to be at that tier. Because you're like, you get enough money to pay your bills, but things like this, like the, 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 ha like the, the scythe kind of swoops over my head a little bit. Um, yeah, 70-30 split is YouTube live across the board. Yeah, it's that and bit rates, better bit rates, uh, make, make YouTube a more appealing option. I just, man, just the community on Twitch though is so much more appealing, or at least it was, you know, now that all the babies are moving to TikTok. YouTube has actually become a lot more civilized. YouTube's UI does suck though. The moderation tools are, are very inferior. Chat sucks, yeah. It's, it's frustrating that they haven't been able to replicate a lot of the basic chat features that make Twitch a lot more, f a lot more fun and interesting, personable. So, eh. YouTube encoder for small streamers sucks. Does it? The YouTube encoder? Is it like harder to run? 
I guess if you have to put, if you, if the invitation is there to push a higher bit rate. Uh, this is a good menu. Shaking a lot. This reminds me of a bunch of like really cheeky indie games I would play in the early 2010s. Just like a kind of like tongue in cheek serious exploration of a dumb concept and a lot of like jiggling UI and stuff. Fiction streaming. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be streaming this today. Uh, I can promise you. It's the it's the hot meme game. It 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 kind of is spreading virally on social media, or at least on Twitter. But yeah, you can't really see chat history on YouTube. Um, you can give people moderator powers, kind of. Champ meter. Breath meter. If you hold a note for too long, you'll run out of breath. You got breath meter. Okay. Have fun. Enjoy the beautiful, succulent music you will soon create. Um, succulent. I wonder if Bruce is going to stream it. Oh, he's already played it. <laughs> he had some, uh, he had some achievements on Steam. So he might have just tried it out. But mouse is inverted on default. Hmm. Well, I guess, wouldn't you want it to go away from you? Got it. Oh, we're mixing it up. Make you play scales. Succulent. I tooted a little bit. Incredible. Scales have never been more fun. I got 309 toots. Great. Camera placement is suboptimal for this game. Yes, it is, isn't it? I can move it. It just covers the whole left side of the screen, though, doesn't it? Oh, look at all these classics. I have to play O Canada. Come on. Come on. How do you not play this? How do you not play this track? It's got high on the dudes. It's a spunky duty track. Not a whole lot of tears, fury, a few, a few amount of slides, but it's a spunky dude. Or a duty spunk? Mm. Scabbard? Oh shit, Scabbard. <laughs> we'll, we'll give our respects to uh, our, our home and native land real quick. Let me, uh. Mm. Mm. Let me, um. Doing loadment. Let me check the UI and see if I can hide my. Also, it seems like it's, it's visually tearing like a motherfucker. Is that just me? Um. Hold on a second. Where should I go? Maybe I'll just go just zip right up here. Oink. Okay. Uh, yeah. Screw it. Why not? What could go wrong? Now I'm gonna look for a visual tearing. How the note charts are red and white.
Champ meter going wild. I like the swag horns. Mm. Another fair amount of toots. All right, we gotta do Ska Bird, right? It seemed like it was visual tearing, right? Am I wrong? Which is weird, because G-Sync is on. I don't know how they did that. All right, let's see how that works. Baboon quantity. Mm. Inferno. Baboon preference. All of them. Wait, what's the difference between none and all of them? If I have no preference, doesn't that imply I want all baboons? I guess one is more enthusiastic than the other. Do I like Gundam at all? Yes, I do. I do, but I, I can't profess to being like a Gundam expert. Uh, I watched Gundam Wing, which is like the one Gundam that's not part of the continuity, right? Watched that and I really enjoyed it, but I never really like got back into it. I watched like the first four episodes of Iron-Blooded Orphans. It was fantastic. I just didn't fall up. I watched Gundam, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam, and I'm like halfway through Zeta. So I'm invest. I built some gunpla kits. Like I, I'm, I'm going back to the beginning. I'm just plugging through it really slowly. So, oh, IBO is also AU. That's right. Uh, and there's a seer. I watched Thunderbolt. That was sick. It's interesting how like Zeta is adding a lot of like in atmosphere combat, and uh, that's like all Thunderbolt. Oh, there's other instruments. Uh. And then now there's like, what? What is it called? Something Witch? The pre prologue is on uh, YouTube or something like that? I don't know, Jacob was telling me about it. I gotta catch up on it. 20 million BC, huh? Anyway, I, I'm a fan, but I'm not. I wouldn't purport to be an expert. Christ. Oh. Christ. Oh. Got more toots, surprisingly. Cool. What are the toots for? For like a toot store? Flex. 
Welcome to your collection. Play the main game to earn toots. Spend them on tromboner cards. Can you collect all 50? Give me a sack. Give me a sack of cards, tromboner cards. What we got here? Four fresh, unique tromboner cards. Uh, yeah. Uh. These are the loot boxes, loot sacks. Mm. Max Tundra. Maximalist electronic composer and producer of bespoke soups. In addition to Long Tail Limbo, he produced a trio of critically, critically acclaimed albums which you should purchase immediately. Yes, we all know Max's contributions to tromboning. Bill Watru, popular jazz trombonist of the modern era who studied with jazz pianist Herbie Nichols while serving in the U.S. Navy and was well known among trombonists for his technical skill and pleasant sound. Next, <laughs> next card better be Bruce Green. I'm not going to draw the like super, super six star S tier ultra rare card my first try. Come on. Ah, Rimsky Korsakov. We all remember him. This Russian composer who infamously infamously wielded two last names in order to use his <laughs> damn it, in order to double his power level was a master of orchestration and could eat a whole lot of hot dogs although the exact number is unknown is there a correlation between your hot dog eating skill and your trombone playing ability i feel like your mouth has to be the same shape to efficiently play trombone as to efficiently consume hot dogs so how tough am i says yes i think that that's also correct i think that's accurate Ooh, the glissando. A glissando is a slide from one tone to another. The trombone is one of the few instruments capable of playing, performing a true smooth glissando. A violin could, right? Hmm. A thremen? Wash tub harp? Oh, the jaw harp could do it. Hot dog slots perfectly into a trombone mouthpiece. I guess that's that's why it's made. They're made for each other. Hold on, I think I have to turn off G Sync. It was I was getting some weird flickers. Ah, uh, the dance, the dance continues anew. Sunrise, sunset. G Sync's turned on. G Sync's turned off. Need that forty ninety card. Then G Sync's gonna work all the time in everything, reliably and stably. Oh, you're a trombone player in real life, Rick. You must be pretty good at this game then. The thing is, I'm going to start hearing it wrong and then that'll be the song in my mind. And then I won't be able to play it any other way because it's already been burned in there. Cool. We get different title screens, or maybe that's always the one. Let's put it back on. Wait. Optimized window. Okay, so, yeah. Let's try this. I love it. Never wanted anything more. Honk. Honk, honk, honk. Ah, Rixie Bell. That's cute. What else we got? Uh, hmm. Oh yeah, whole gray mare. That's a good one. Now this is all fury and slides. Very little spunk and dude. So we'll see what the difference is here.
took off near the end. Yeah. Thing is, I'm pretty sure I saw Bruce had an S rank. I'm pretty sure I saw him with uh, the esteem achievement for getting an S rank. Is Bruce a natural? Of course he is. Of course we know he is. Hold on a minute, I gotta check this out. Look at this, received an S score. It's the, it's the first thing he did. 12 of 5 a.m. Bruce sat down at midnight, cracked his knuckles and got an S and then walked away. He did the ska song, so he definitely got an S. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Damn it. No, I refuse. I'm not going to spill this on myself. Right, that was close. Every time I put on a shirt that's not black, I feel like I'm tempting fate. That's true. Yeah. At least two to one. If the trombones won it, they could e easily take us. Strong finish. Hmm. My dog absolutely hates the sound of the trombone. Why? You need to have a serious talk with your dog. Trap music. Eine kleine Nacht music. Trap style. This serenade was written for strings, but we've added trombone and trap drums. Mozart would have approved. Actually, yeah, he probably would have.
Oh, this is exhausting. I feel like I didn't do the I didn't do too well. <laughs> didn't do too well on that one. No, I guess I did. That's okay. Trombone skies. This electronic track is an attempt to capture what it feels like to play the trombone. Hmm. A, a unique track. Interesting. The, the original music. The tracks that you have to be a trombone champ to properly appreciate. Still ending there. <laughs> ah, man. This is. Scrolling's a bit odd. It's pretty jittery and strange. Uh, at least on my display. I'm not sure why. Maybe I'll. Maybe I'll try full screen without. Without VC. But. Yeah, maybe full screen with VC. I don't think I've tried this. How much spit is on your floor? Not enough. Did you try baboon mode already? Um, no. Oh, there it is. Baboon. Yeah, the computer may not be able to handle these graphics. Mmm. I appear to not have the... Magical trumpet amulet to interact with baboon mode yet. Maybe I just didn't click on the right thing? Let's buy another sack. Buy another sack of. Give me a sack. Sack me up. We got Bobby. This ancient Egyptian deification of the Hamad Hamadryas of baboon, whose name translates to bull of the baboons or chief of the baboons was a deity of the underworld and is very relevant to this trombone trombone game. That's good to know. Rachmaninoff. This leading Russian-born composer, pianist, and conductor. One of the most popular in the late romantic period. When he ordered hot dogs, he'd request them as long as my name, please, and everyone would laugh. That's fun. Are you going to get a 4090 for your personal moon mission? I feel like the 3090 has barely started to be pushed power-wise. Uh... Well, the 3090 can actually get capped out by certain games. I mean, running like Cyberpunk without resolution scaling. 
and cap out a 3090. It's more that like the 3090 has a bunch of resources that just go underused. Like the bottlenecks are in different places. So you're, you're right. A 3090 has a lot of stuff that doesn't get used, but it's not because like the bottlenecks, those bottlenecks can still, still get pushed. So if it has more cores and can compute more data, uh, I think it's still going to be an improvement. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we'll have to get uh, benchmarks to really start to get an idea. That's kind of what I'm waiting for, to start caring about anything. Igor Stravinsky, revolutionary Russian composer, best known for his thunderous ballet, The Rite of Spring. He could easily eat 35 hot dogs in one sitting, which may explain the power level evident in his music. The slide. This is the funny part of the trombone that goes in and out. No, it goes up. No, it goes down. Thought this, you don't have a trombone. You just have a trumpet. Disgusting. <laughs> More things should have slides on them. I agree. I agree completely with the, uh, with the positions buried in this game. The political stances. Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. Oh, we all know this one. Instantly recognizable and has earned enormous popularity. Let's do it. That's a nice one. Do, 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 is this for the Switch? Uh, it's for the PC right now. song will always remind me of NES Tetris. We watched Airplane on the Airplane Ride Back Home, and I had honestly forgotten how horribly horny that whole movie is. Yeah, same with me and Naked Gun. Um, it's weird. Oh, baboons! Maybe this will unlock baboon mode. Um, yeah, it's like na Naked Gun is like Police Squad, except they just hornify everything up. They just put tits everywhere instead of like more jokes. Um, that's interesting. I remember some of that in Airplane. I mean, I remember there's like one part where just a woman, a topless woman just shakes her tits in front of the camera. I mean, it's actually kind of a funny shot, but... Tit-based comedy? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> God, 
que te va. Jesus. Chaotic song. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we're doing it. Also sprach Zarathustra. If I can't get a, a five, if I can't get an S rank on this, come on now. Come on now. I think I got an S. Mm. Sharp combo. Got two nasties. You can't be rocking that many nasties and expect an X. An S. Oh god, Havana Gila? Okay, let's let's look at the let's look at the track list here. Oh, I remember that was referenced on a on a card. Long tail limbo. Entertainer. Banner. Gotta do. Gotta put one up for the troops. Enter the gladiators. Havanagila. I have to do Havanagila. How do you not do Havanagila? Blue Danube is very Looney Tunesy. Should be able to get these taps. 
I think my I think the timing windows are a little later than I think they are. Hmm. Choppy. Choppy choppy. Johann Strauss. Well, I wanna I wanna listen to the long tail limbo here. By Max Tundra. Electronic track. I'm out of breath. Trombone. Oi! Bitch, the trombone! Trying to like figure out the timing windows, and it's a little, a little challenging. Do you have to let go? You don't. Oh, you run out of air. You don't have to like. Okay, you have to get your breath every so often. Okay, no, it's it's wiping my combo. So you do have to like tap it at the beginning of every line. There's the guy. We all remember him. Whatever his name is. I think it's that you have to like you have to extend the note past the end. You don't have to let go at the end, but you do have to start at the beginning of a track. So you can like overblow. That makes that makes a, a little more sense. These songs feel like a panic attack. They kind of do, right? Yeah, I understand. All right, for the troops, though. At least I got to use a trombone. That's what we all say, or what we all aspire to say before we uh, move into the next world. No, wait, never mind. Yeah, you just get an okay if you overblow. I think? I don't know what the okay means. Hamburger. God bless. God bless America. Gladiators. Named because of Fusik's personal interest in the Roman Empire, this has become one of the most widely known pieces of circus music. Interesting. Dookie, thank you very much for the resub. Thank you for complimenting my blowing. Catherine of Aragon. Thank you for the resub as well. Busy summer kept me away. Always subbed and wishing you well. Back later this month, I hope. I hope so too. I hope so too. But hopefully life's keeping you busy with good things. Okay, I'm gonna slaughter this thing. Because it's really hard. Let me see if I can get, let me see if I can smack out an S rank on, on it. Easier song. Okay. We'll try the wiener version of God Save the King. So it seems like you have to be like on time and on the note, but there's no like indicator of the your ranking filling up, which would be nice, but. Damn. 
Come on, go! Yeah! I do like that the meter keeps going. That's good stuff. Okay. Trombone Fuerte. Our sad attempt at composing a merengue song. Oh dear. Can I interact with baboons yet? I've played baboon. Oh! One of the seals has been shattered. You have to get like, f you have to get four S ranks? Okay, yeah, you need S ranks. Hmm. Bobby. Oh, I already got that. Hey! I thought there were no dupes. Hot dog. Yum! Are these beefy? Treats? Sandwiches? Or something else entirely? No one knows for sure, but one thing is certain. They're every composer's favorite treat. Even if not eaten. Eaten. Simply holding these imbues one with power. Ooh, I got Glizondo already. Bella Bartok. Considered one of the most important composers of the 20th century and among Hungary's greatest composers. He also helped create ethnomusicology through a study of folk music. He studied but never ate hot dogs. You know, no wonder he didn't, didn't survive until 2022. Well, let's go. Wait a minute. Advanced info. I mean, give me that advanced info here. You can toot by clicking the mouse or pressing any letter. See here. Timing. Overall note accuracy. Okay. Ah. Okay. Average percent. Okay. Interesting. I like it. Perfecto. Ah. Chant meters full. You gain an extra one and a half multiplier. Okay. Champ meter is full, getting under an okay will cause you to lose champ immediately. Damn, okay. Okay, all right. Got some baboon facts here. Hmm. There are only six species of baboons. Despite appearing intra-bone champ, mandrills are not technically baboons. Baboons have been around for over two million years. Baboons are omnivorous. It means they can eat anything. They could probably eat hot dogs, although we would not recommend trying to feed baboon hot dogs. Baboons can live up to 30 years in the wild and up to around 45 in captivity. There's a species of baboon called the Kinda Baboon, which is funny, because it's definitely a baboon. Is that a kind of funny reference? A group of baboons is called a troop. Those are some fun facts. All right, let's get three more S ranks. Get three more S ranks. I'm just gonna pick the, the boner tracks. I can get it. Three stars? Can I get, can I S rank a three star? Let's find out. She thick. I'm just a respecter of the arts. That's all. What do you think? No! Man. S ranks are pretty, pretty challenging. 
I guess I can do the warm-up track, but I'm probably gonna have to be able to S rank a three star. I don't know if there's enough. I don't know if there's enough ones and twos out there. Oh, I guess there's this. Love America so much. <laughs> it makes me mad how much I love America. <laughs> just have to get like a decent string of notes while champ champ is activated which yeah really does require a lot of accuracy I mean this is these are scales this might actually be pretty difficult to get an S rank on Can't, already missed it. Mm, bone went soft. One little guy at the end to prevent you from getting like a full combo. I love that it scrolls off the screen. I wondered if it was going to do that. <laughs> Random trombone story time. One time when I was walking into pep band and carrying my trombone in college, some random dude I walked past said, hey, nice boner. Totally appreciated his, I appreciated his totally original joke. Yeah. Well, look at that, a star? A little sparkle star? Over double my score, look at that. Yeah, people love making bone jokes. I mean, I already did it. Oh, that, I guess that means that's rank. Okay, I gotta gotta go up to a to a gotta go up to a three star. Oh, Canada for the syrup. If I don't if I don't uh, S rank this, I'll I'll do O Canada again. Love you, Canada. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I don't know. I broke, I lost my champ as soon as I got it every time. Yeah, geez. Okay. Some of the, some of them you almost want to like delay. You almost want to delay the activation until a, uh, a really s solid set of notes. It's almost like, uh, like overdrive or something. Star power. Fever. Beaver at the end. I got some in champ mode. Yeah! Okay. Phew. Good stuff. All right. I have stacked up the S ranks to unlock the secret trombone power has been locked away. Oh, ah! damn it. Fuck. Clicked out of the... Somehow clicked out of the window. Hmm. All right. Hmm. That's disquieting. Hmm. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Al Gray, this American jazz trombonist who played with Count Basie, was known for his plunger mute technique. Literally wrote a book on <laughs> plunger techniques. As an American, he probably ate a ton of hot dogs. Yeah, he did. Dick Slide Hyde, American session tromboner who recorded for a number of legendary musicians. Won Best Trombone Player Award in 1974, the most prestigious award ever given to a human in history. Cool stuff, Jay Strauss the second. This Austrian-born composer wrote over 500 pieces and is credited with popularizing the waltz in 19th century Vienna. Sadly, his baboon-like facial hair prevented him from eating hot dogs. Ugh, that's why his power level's so low. Ah, the slide. Yeah, we know about the slide. We've learned. So yeah, the baboon's out now. I guess. Maybe I play the baboon song now. Maybe the baboon will show up in the baboon song. Yeah, play baboon again. Got a baboon fact?
Okay. Another another romp through baboons. That's always a fun a fun thing to do. Hmm. Hmm. Baboon. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess you just gotta let that one- you gotta let that sit for a little- Ah! Hark! Arst thou the one who hath been a-knocking on my little hatch? You got me. Not me? Hearth! Thine answers are false, methinks. Seeketh the trombone champ. But the true champ is truthful. Farewell! Damn it. I gotta wake him up again. I lied. There he is. Hark! <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, thou art truthful, that is good. <laughs> is it knocking? Not what hatches are for, after all. <gasps> I seek it, the trombone champ. Is thine wish to become the champ? Sure. <laughs> oh, that is good news. Alloweth me to introduce meself. <laughs> I am the primordial baboon, Toot Seeker Tom. Allow me to show you something. Feast thine eyes upon the Toot Vessel. What is this? What is it for? How does this personally affect my life? These are questions for which I have long since forgotten the answers. My bad. But this I do recalleth. The Toot Vessel requires the Toots. Feed it Toots. And the cleft shall awaken. That is why it's called the toot vessel. You see, it's literally a vessel for toots. Anyways, fill the vessel with toots so that the treble clef may awaken. All right, Just feed that on up, then. The toot vessel awakens. Fucking horns. Ah, uh, you played the video game a lot and unlocked a thing. Ooh, I got the po polygon character. Sweet. Okay, it unlocks more stuff. Ah, so a chest of treasure poppeth out. Fascinating. However, I feel there's more hidden within that vessel. Yes, I'm certain that the toot vessel can be further awakened. Fill the vessel with toots, so that the treble clef may be awakened. What do I get next? Do I have to click a hundred times again? Please make me click 99 times every time. You have to do that. Yes. <laughs> Muted? What? Why would I mute myself? Oh, wait, hold on. This is a pretty sick, uh, getting two to your, huh? Pretty sick unlock screen. Pretty sick gotcha screen. Uh... Oops, Chaba, why did they let me click out of the thing? Gets me again. Oh, a muted trombone, oh. Yes, that makes way more sense. All right, let me try that out. Cause a muted trombone is gonna sound even more pathetic. Bezerly. All right, last track. Then I'm gonna try out Hyper Demon, <sighs> which uh, you might wanna. If you have substances, you might wanna take them now. That game looks ridiculous. Okay. Thank 
Okay, after becoming a trombone master, the actual challenging thing about this game is that when you hit the button, it doesn't start the note. It doesn't just go eat like it's rink. So there's like a wind up to it. And there's a little bit of like audio lag there that's kind of on purpose because it makes the trombone sound stupid. <laughs> uh, but it's interesting to try to adjust for that when you were like hearing the feedback from your note like a solid, like a good chunk of a second behind when you actually hit the button. Anyway, trombone champ. You are marvelous. 15 bucks on Steam. Check it out. Oh, I forgot. I can be Polygon person. Cool. Uh, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna switch it up here. I'm gonna play uh, Hyper Demon, the the Devil Daggers 2. The studio released another game. It looks like Devil Daggers, except it's even more ridiculous. I'm curious how Twitch bitrate is gonna work for this because this game looks this game looks insane. I shouldn't say that. That's ableist. This game looks ridiculous. Unhinged. That kind of means the same thing. Anyway, I'll be right back. See you soon. Okay. 